We are studying different diseases that are affecting the nervous system, including ALS, uh, Parkinson, Alzheimer, but thinking that all of them have something in common, that is uh, alteration to protein homeostasis. So one of the major hallmarks of these diseases is the accumulation of abnormal proteins in the brain in the forms of large uh, aggregates, inclusions, and these uh, abnormal proteins are highly toxic. So one of the questions is why uh, this is happening in these diseases. So we believe that probably one of the major uh, 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 alterations in the diseases is alteration in the machinery that is maintaining protein homeostasis. And one of the major compartments in the cell that is uh, involved in producing healthy proteins is uh, the endoplasmic reticulum. Several, many other groups have shown that actually this particular compartment is highly altered in, in, in brain diseases like ALS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson. So right now we are trying to develop therapeutic strategies uh, to uh, restore this problem. Right now we are uh, trying to, to develop two major uh, lines. One is gene therapy, so we are using uh, recombinant viruses to deliver genes that can help restoring protein homeostasis, so they reduce the load of these abnormal aggregates and can improve the health of the proton. And this is having an amazing positive effect in, in animal models of ALS, also Parkinson. This is one strategy. And the second is pharmacology, but we are trying to use a different approach because I'm coming uh, from Chile and we have a big history of natural use of plants in our country through different uh, uh, ancestral uh, cultures. So right now we are doing uh, screenings, drug screenings, with molecules that are the, uh, uh, generated from these plants. So we are also, we have found interesting compounds that actually are also providing neuroprotection. So these are our two major focus.